I hate that. <laughs> I go to, I look at my stuff while I'm recording, you know, and then I see that they take in my videos again. It's so annoying, man. That's all right. I guess it comes with the territory. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. Yeah, I know I am. <laughs> we are back with Asia. Oh my God, how long has it been? Um, we did Heat of the Moment, I don't know, like a year ago. Hold on, I bet I can check. Um, and I absolutely loved it. And I, you know, I, I know all the guys that are in the band. Um, yep, seven months ago. No shit, man, that's crazy. That's so long ago. Um, okay, here we go. We're gonna be doing the second single release in this album, which is called Only Time Will Tell, written by uh, John Wetton and Jeff Downs. It's the second single, like I said, second song on the album as well. Um, John Wetton, Jeff Downs, Steve Howe, and Carl Palmer. What a damn lineup, dude. That's so crazy. So I'm very glad that we got back to him all these months later. Um, thank you to our patron, Thomas M, for another wonderful pick, I'm guessing. And if y'all aren't subscribed, you already know. Right down there, somewhere. There, do it. All right. Only time will tell. Asia. Three, two, one, go. Tears that 
different than heat of the moment. Inside your room, claiming victory. We're just using Oh, come on, bro. Are you serious? There is no one you can use now. Carl's killing that. Honestly, all four of them were on fire in that song. What? It's a super group, so you would hope they would be. <laughs> Man, honestly, Steve, his guitar in that was fantastic. So was Jeff's uh, key lines when they came in. Um, I really love John Wetton's voice, man. All the stuff I've heard from him, from King Crimson down, like it's just all been um, so uh, deeply felt, but like simply put, you know, um, this kind of felt like a, Maybe it was like a relationship kind of song. It was ending or something. That's what I got from it, at least. Um, it, he's just such a fantastic lyricist in the way that like he can make a catchy chorus or a nice hook or something or a bridge, but it's all just so eloquently simple. Like I don't know how to describe it. Like it's not, it's not hard to understand what he's saying. You know what I mean? But there's so many different ways that you could take it in your head. Um, and that's the sign of a good writer right there. He's a very good lyricist. Um, and his voice is even better, to be honest. It's, um, it, I don't know what, it's like perfectly right in the middle. It's mid range. And it just, he always can hit the high notes when he goes up that little bit. Sounds great, man. Um, like I said, it's, it's this felt like the complete opposite of heat of the moment, um, <clears throat> which was very, um, chorus driven, you know, um, and I like that song a lot. It's a very catchy, uh, really good song. You know, it'll get stuck in your head forever. It's one of those earworm songs. But um, I think I like this one better. Um, it's definitely not as catchy, but I think in every other, not every other, but mostly every other aspect, I think I like this more. Um, Carl's drumming in this was great too, man. Uh, his hi-hat and his snare, it sounded just mm, so good, dude. Um, but he basically, until the end there, he was just keeping everything in time. It sounded great though. He did his thing and he's just so, he's got such a fun sounding playing style, you know, like he's just so loose back there, but he's so on point at every possible inkling. You know what I mean? It, it, he's a great drummer, man. And, um, I miss ELP. I really do. I hate that they, uh, either take the money or block the videos. Usually, um, there's this one music management group at their, Oh my God. Um, Aviator Management GmbH. There you go. <laughs> it took me a second. Um, for some reason, and there's like BMG Europe Music too. Like it's all the Europe ones because they're not, I guess, beholden to US copyright. And it's all up to like YouTube basically when it comes down to one of those disagreements that they can either side with the people that they're with or the creator, you know? <laughs> See, I got you there. You'd think that I'd be the first one. No, uh, but at the same time, Copyright's tricky, and I'm not a lawyer, and I'm not going to get harped over it, you know? It's all good. Um, honestly, yeah, John's vocals in this are my favorite part, but Steve, man, uh, the way that he can just kind of create an atmosphere with his guitar, is it's crazy, man. Um, he's basically playing for the chorus, at least in the main part, he's doing the same line over and over, but it just sounds so good every time he does it. Um, then he gets to obviously open it up a little bit after that, and... Uh, noodling i love it man and steve's the best at that um what a super group to form like who would it carl palmer you know what i'm saying elp i don't know man like <laughs> that's already a super group elp and then he comes to this in the 80s you know um john wetton crimson um jeff and steve i think were in yes obviously um so i, I mean I don't know. I know you guys said that the albums after this maybe aren't up to par with this one. Um, but two tracks in, track one and track two in, uh, this is a really solid album so far, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but you would think, like I said, you would think with those four guys that you would have something incredible. And 
I wouldn't say this is incredible, but it's really, really good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to throw the I word out there, uh, but that was really enjoyable. And that's a song that I'd like to come back to and listen, listen to more. Um, same thing with Heat of the Moment. It's one of those songs you just can listen to over and over until I guess it gets repetitive and you're like, I'm not listening to this anymore. And then you don't listen to it for two months and then you listen to it randomly, you know, one of those things. <laughs> um, you guys have any other recommendations by Asia, please leave it down below. I'll definitely check it out. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all this wonderful music. It means a lot to me. And uh, thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And thank you again to Tom M for a great pick. Um, you know how to pick them, bro. You really do. You just know stuff that'll be right up my alley. Um, keep them coming. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I don't think I really have anything else to add. Um, yeah, I, I'd say Wetton and Steve were my favorite here. Um, but I always love John Wetton's vocals, so I guess I'm biased. <laughs> Thanks for watching. One more thing before you go. Uh, we have a really cool Patreon community. We'd love to have you. Join the $15 tier or up. You get one for your request a month. There's other tiers and such if you want to do more requests. Um, there's also a PayPal as well in the description. And um, all Patreon members and such get access to our Discord server. We'd love to have you, like I keep saying. So, what are you doing? Come on. Let's go.